I went through this huge spiritual thing where I, um, I became obsessed with um, the power of the mind. I got into a deep, like really deep, just um, meditation, visualization, and just realizing how powerful our minds actually are, like how we really do paint our world with our thoughts and, and our level of self-belief. You've got to build a bulletproof level of self-confidence that will never hold you back from reaching your full potential ever again. And of course, you'll have haters. People will try to kill your dreams. Anyone building something always does. But it's your job to shut them all up with your results. The best revenge in life is massive success. The only reason you're not the best right now is because you don't believe you're the best now. And when you walk out this room, I want you to go in the mirror and tell yourself, I'm the best right now. He said, before you even become number one, start to proclaim it and say it long before it happened. Say, I'm the number one motivational speaker in the world. And when I was number 20, I started saying, I'm the number one motivational speaker in the world. And I went to the computer, and the world said exactly what I said, that Eric Thomas is number one in the world. I spoke it, the world heard it, and it activated. Your problem is that you don't believe you belong here. So go out there, believe in yourself, and proof them haters wrong. Think how many people already made it to the top. So why not you? You only need self-discipline. You don't need to be very smart. You don't need luck. You need that dedication, the will. Everybody need a little something and they to be independent. No independent person just grew up and was born independent. You worked and you learned teamwork and you learned cooperation and unity and struggle and then you became independent. You have to work for it. You have to feel the struggle, the pain, the stress you will have on your path. The path you have to go to the top is preparing you for what it means to be number one. There is no success without pain. I'm always said to my friends, it's good to have problems. It's the only way that you can improve. All of us, nobody's perfect. We failed too many times. We have so many uncertainty in our life that we have to be capable when we are down to stand up. You're not hearing what I'm saying. So there are those of you who want to mimic, mimic their behavior. It's not their behavior you need. It's their mindset that you need. It's the way they think is what you need. I'm not crazy, mother... I'm just not you. People may think you're insane, but pay no attention to them. You block them out and you focus on yourself, focusing all your energy and effort on things you're striving for. And as you convince yourself, telling yourself that you have everything it takes to win, that this is your time, this is your moment, and that you will not stop until you get what you rightfully should have. And if you made it to the top, give something back to the people. Because with your help, they may can live their dreams too. Everybody would love to be able to be themselves, but they can't. Because they must fall in line with the person in front of them. You want to live that kind of life? I wish you the best. Everybody stop talking now. Attention. I told you, all of my critics, I told you all that I was the greatest of all time. Hey, I give glory to God, and we'll let everybody know that you can't choose against God. You can choose against me any time, but when God involved, Jesus is alive, and, and he the credit for it. And I... Both of them fighters were great fighters back in the days, but both of them had also their own character, different goals. Ali was Ali, and Holyfield was Holyfield. A lot of people like to have a role model in their life. The problem is they start to repeat what their role model said. You have you have to make your own opinion about things. You have to build your own character on your way. It's about the legacy. Who is remembering you after you die? A great person is a person with great character. You got to understand those things that you see, those things that you clap for, those things that you cheer for, those things that you idolize, they're not role models. They're models playing a role. You don't, you don't know who they are. You just saw them doing what they're gifted and blessed to do for two hours of the day. I would advise you to be that role model for your child, for your friend, for your homies, for that person that looks up to you and looks out for you. So go out there and improve your character. Be the best version of yourself and write your own history.